locate for me somewhere in the history of painting an image of a black person that is self-satisfied. And at the point at which they are indifferent to the perception of the spectator. To me, those are important things to represent for a black figure. You know, because we don't think of black figures uh, being self-satisfied because the narrative of black presence is almost always traumatized. Witness <laughs> the, the Laquan McDonald video or the Eric Garner video or the Rodney King video. All those, it's like that whole history of representation going all the way back even to the Without Sanctuary exhibition. I don't know if, you, if you've seen that. But the whole history of lynchings and postcard images of lynchings and stuff like that. So we, we're used to uh, representations of the black body as a kind of traumatized body in one way or another. What we're rarely used to is the image of the black figure as a self-satisfied individual. And so and that's what the painting, the woman in the mirrors, without all of the clothes and things that you dress yourself up with and you make yourself presentable to other people, when you present yourself to yourself, are you satisfied with that self? I mean, that's a part of what that picture wants to suggest. The girl on the, the blanket, she's there with the apparatus of photographic representation around her. She's presenting herself to be made into the image of desire. <laughs> and I tell you, the man that cut the grass here at the studio, he came and he saw that painting. He said, oh man, she is so cute. He said, she's talking to me. And I thought, <laughs> That was a beautiful response. And that's what I wanted somebody to be able to say about a picture like that.